Hello friends, welcome to AI Flux. This video is about the launch and, well, sort of the botched launch of Stable Diffusion 1.5. A lot unfolded today and I wanted to break this sooner, but to be frank, I'm glad I waited because now we have more information and fortunately this event has played out in a pretty amicable way, but I think there's some very interesting takeaways with some new hires at Stability AI, and I think there's also some really important background to provide with what happened today. So for those of you who follow this news closely, you might have seen links to Hugging Face showing up this morning that pointed to Stable Diffusion version 1.5 being generally available. Initially, the model couldn't be downloaded, but the post um, was from one Runway ML uh, marked as Stable Diffusion version 1.5, and it looked nearly identical to the prior releases of Stable Diffusion as it referenced them directly. And I'm going to get into how Runway ML plays into Stable Diffusion and Stability AI in just a bit, since this is actually really important. Yeah, as it turns out, uh, within about an hour of this going live, there were allegations that this was a leaked model or that the licensing model that was agreed to by Stability AI had been breached. And quickly thereafter, uh, and it's actually still on Hugging Face, a mod of Stable Diffusion or the Stable Diffusion team actually posted a takedown request. Um, so similar to what you'd see on YouTube for a copyright claim being posted. Um, this isn't the first time this has happened on Hugging Face. Yeah, Julian C of Stability AI basically said, look, the legal team uh, at Stability has reached out to Hugging Face. It's now reverted, as you can see. So this, ha this happened at about 11 p.m. Central uh, U.S. time. I'll just read it plain as day. Uh, initially, they said, uh, company Stability AI has requested a takedown of this published model, characterizing it as a leak of their intellectual property. I'm not going to get too far into it in this video, but uh, this opens up a... Pandora's box of what is and is not considered IP, um, even just focusing at, at the core of a model. So this is IP um, that has to do with code that defines the model, uh, not training attributes, not content being generated. So then they go on to say, while we are awaiting for, formal, for a formal legal request, and even though Hugging Face is not knowledgeable of the IP agreements, if any, between this repo owner, Runway ML, and Stability AI, we are flagging this repository as having potential or disputed IP rights. We reserve the potential future action such as disabling this, this repo and we ask both repo owner and Stability AI to please chime in if, poss if possible publicly here for accountability and transparency. So the last sentence here is what's so perplexing to me because these two parties are very tightly aligned. You would think they would have very stern internal communication. We know that um, given the unicorn status and the huge uh, funding raise that Stability AI just went under, they're being very, very careful with how they're handling the release of new models, and they've been dragging their feet releasing um, Stable Diffusion 1.5 for over a month. And we're not here to demand they release it, but initially what this looked like was it looked like Runway ML just got tired of waiting since they really did most of the legwork in producing this model and just released the latest work they had and called it um, Stable Diffusion version 1.5, then eliciting a, a whole bunch of back and forth. What's also really curious is at one point today, a mod actually claimed that they did not directly send a takedown request. It's not completely clear where the takedown request emanated from. Initially, it appeared to emanate from a Stability AI employee who just saw this. Later, the legal team kind of reverted that. And then curiously, um, this morning, this showed up saying, just noticed 1.5 drop. Don't know about the drama behind it, but I can sort of barely contain my excitement. Fantastic work, everyone. So what's crazy is, yeah, this person was just excited to see it. Then a mod comes back with, we didn't send the takedown request, was confusion at hugging face, which, you know, there, there was a formal, I think this is a, what this is here is generally speaking, if you get a takedown request or a kind of formal request for this stuff, the general way you go about this is you make it public, you cite who raised it. So in this case, technically Julian C is who we think raised this. And you, know, you just copy paste the formal request. So that's how you contain your culpability in the actions here, at least with current US and UK law. And it's curious because it outlines the stakeholders pretty interestingly. So for those who don't know, uh, and we're making a dedicated video on Hugging Face, but Hugging Face is 
really just a, uh, a formal interface and distribution layer for these models. Yes, you can train stuff on them. Yes, they can provide GPUs, but it's more so to, like think of Hugging Face as like a, a place you go to find, download and interact with these, these models. It's a way that's gated. So in theory, it's not just letting everyone go buck wild with this stuff. So they are not really a bad guy here. They're kind of a benign mega upload. It's an infrastructure that people making these models can leverage. So where this gets interesting is where Runway ML comes in and Stability AI come in. So the founder of Runway ML, he had some curious statements, uh, basically saying, you know, when, it, when this happened, um, he came back and said, uh, Chris here, the CEO and co-founder of Runway, since our founding in 2018, we've been on a mission to empower anyone to create the impossible. So we're excited to share this newest version of Stable Diffusion so that we can continue delivering on our mission. So this happened this morning after some of the back and forth. Uh, their official statement was, this version of Stable Diffusion is a continuation of the original high resolution image synthesis with latent diffusion models work that we created and published now more commonly refer referred to as Stable Diffusion. Stable Diffusion is an AI model developed by Patrick Esser from Runway Research and Robin Rumbach from LMU Munich. The research and code behind Stable Diffusion was open source last year. The model was released under Creative ML and OpenRailM license. The OpenRailM license is something that Hugging Face distinctly outlines. What's interesting is as of tonight, we've seen that according to Discord messages from Ahmad, the founder of Stability AI, They've taken back the takedown request formally, and it seems now to be an official release of version 1.5. So if you were able to download what was up there first, um, you might have something kind of interesting. Fortunately, the legal concerns around that are now kind of uh, subdued. So at a high level, what happened and like the relationship with Runway ML and Stability AI is that first off, Runway is not necessarily a, a company. They were a part of the research for the original Stable Diffusion release and are still actively working with Stable Diffusion, but they're by no means the same company or the same team. Uh, it's kind of a group of researchers who are working on this. What's really important to get here is that Stability itself is is not the one that pioneered this research and more so they maintained and facilitated the training and distribution of the model, which is a really curious thing. So basically they said, yeah, we have a lot of GPUs. We have engineers that can wrap this in sort of an ML ops layer and then maybe end up with something curious. Yeah, that's where we ended up with Stable Diffusion being as incredible as it is, both from the fusion of you know, the researchers at Runway ML, which um, their website's pretty interesting. Yeah, so starting here, we're being wrapped in probably some of the best ML tooling anyone has seen outside of fan companies like Facebook or Meta, then being coupled with people who knew how to really get money behind it and then roll it out in this crazy open source way. And I have to wonder, you know, if, if every release is going to go this way, even with this amount of money, especially if they're unable to really hire and improve their communications, um, you have to wonder if publicly available AI is going to be around this long. And the data hoarder in me is just downloading everything I can because you just it is very unclear um, what the future of this kind of stuff will hold. And what's, what's interesting is, is it, 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 technically speaking, Runway ML are an official partner of Stability AI. We've all known that they've been delaying the release. Um, again, the speculation that what they initially released was just their latest work, um, labeling it as such. That is speculation on my part with some people that I've talked to that are a bit closer to what happened. It's, it's interesting because this is pretty similar to what happened about a week ago with the automatic 1111 bit. Initially, like a major escalation a lot of people not really knowing what was going on, sort of a, be a legal clarification happening, and then a mod coming in and saying, oh, we'll step back what's going on. And again, a lot of the speculation is that they want to be really careful with future releases based on pressure being applied probably by governments and uh, people who want stability AI to have a clean public image. I think they're, they're pretty serious questions as to whether, just as to where the future of this wants to go. Right. So whether it, we play fast and loose and leave it open or whether we go the way of Facebook and, and Microsoft and, and neuter these models to a point that they're just not really interesting and don't really provide or represent the progress that I think a lot of people think these do. So that leads us to the next logical step here. Stability I hired on a guy named Daniel Jeffries. So he's the, the CIO, which basically means he's been given the job of understanding how to sculpt 
corporate communication and sort of a, a corporate image going forward for a stability AI. He's posted a few articles on Medium or no, on Substack, which frankly, I would classify as damage control. One of these is, yeah, well, the biggest one for now is what he's titled, um, why the future of open source AI is so much bigger than stable diffusion 1.5 and why it matters to you. So he addresses a number of things here. The biggest thing is it's him undergoing damage control saying, here's why we've delayed 1.5. And again, this was published three hours ago on October 20th, 2022. So they mention again, regulators, it's sort of the first time they've directly addressed this. They mention, you know, these high level notions of classical democracy and meritocracy, loosely reference stable diffusion being used for illegal purposes or hurting people. So this is why I say like download these models while you can in a forum that isn't gated by hugging face because clearly there are bigger forces than youtubers like me with less than a thousand subscribers telling them to think critically about you know well, what do you think someone's going to do with this yeah so they mentioned sort of their their open source approach they mentioned that you know more is being done with this than just making cool images and just building uh plugins for companies that stand to profit a lot from these models and it's interesting because here this bit i thought was pretty prescient so they say uh, others worry that we plan to neuter the models to the point of uselessness and and try to chase every edge case. We understand that this is impossible to solve for every edge case, but we don't need to do that, which is kind of a, a odd way to parse this. Uh, and then he says, what we do need to do is listen to society as a whole, listen to regulators, listen to the community. And ironically, I would argue that they've, the last thing they've done is had a metered approach of listening to the community. Um, Cause it seems like they'll, they'll just completely blow something up freak out and then have damage control come in and try to whitewash what was going on. Uh, this happened with Automatic 1111. Uh, this has continued to go on with their subreddit. Uh, and it's curious because they're even like employees at Stability that have kind of spoken out against this. Uh, so then like the, the big takeaways here, um, they said we were forming an open source committee to decide on major issues like cleaning data, NSFW policies and formal guidelines for model release. Um, this might sound like a great idea, like a great egalitarian open source thing. However, um, you should go read and see what a cluster, um, some of the open source committees, uh, and people who write rules for open source con contributors, um, are for certain Linux projects. Um, secure boot is a great example of uh, a really well-intentioned project meant to just improve security and, and, um, secure boot openness. Um, devolving into an insane political just deluge, and yeah, it was it was nuttier than Linus Torvalds getting up and, and giving Nvidia the finger on on a live stream, which you should you should watch that. It's it's a funny thing to watch anyway. Yeah, and then they they announced a, a, a prize. They go on this grandiose kind of soapbox saying open source AI needs to be guided by the same democratic principles. Yeah, and this all just it, this to me this sounds a little bit patronizing and just like damage control from my time working at startups. I'll just read the end of this and then you guys can um, pl please comment below what you think about this because I, I have my take, um, I have my angle of this and I want to hear what you think. So this is ended by saying, um, so when Stability AI says we have to slow down just a little, it's because if we don't deal with the reasonable feedback from society and our own communities, um, notice they note they don't mention regulators here, um, from society and our own communities, then there is a chance open source AI simply won't exist and nobody will be able to release powerful models. That's not a world we want to live in. We believe in open source AI, help us set the groundwork to make sure we have a firm foundation to build on so we and everyone else can release models that matter now and in the future. Help us make uh, AI truly open rather than open in name only. And I think what they're getting at here, for those of you who don't know, like a lot of the power of these models is in the prescience and immediacy of training data. So for instance, like if I want to make a meme about a TikToker who went viral last week, um, the likelihood that that will work in stable diffusion is pretty limited because it needs context and continual input of information to be relevant. So it, it, this is why older artists with more examples um, present prompts easier. So clearly this is going to be an ongoing process. I, I would argue that this is a step in the right direction handling, you know, just hiring a CIO, but I wouldn't hold your breath that the 1.6 release is going to be any better. I think there's a lot of room for improvement. So I hope this has shed some light on some infrastructure bits here. Um, 
some unfortunately just you know political bits here uh, in terms of who uh, runway ML is, who what, what role stability plays here, uh, stability AI plays here, and and we're hugging face kind of laps into this. Um, in our next video, I'm going to do a deep dive. It won't be very long, um, but kind of a, a deep dive on the stable diffusion license provided by Compviz and uh, highlight some of, I guess, their role in all of this, which is pretty interesting. And yeah, as always, I hope you learned something. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit more um, rough just because I, I'm recording this at like 1130 at night. But uh, yeah, Otherwise, I hope everyone has a good day and we will talk to you soon.